Okay, I've got the GPS loader screen open. Once we've done that, we'll select the KLN94 here. We'll go find the database, which I just saved to my desktop. We'll click yes. open. We'll select the first option, which is connected to the COM port. Okay. Then we have to navigate to the set page three. And we'll go ahead. All right, I've navigated to the set three. I verified that the key matches. You see the key here and the key there. Those match. We'll hit cursor. Update the database. Click start over here and cross our fingers. And it looks like we are in business. Fingers crossed. All right, so it should pop up and you'll get a complete with the effective dates as well as the database key. This will also say database complete and then to recycle the power, which we will then go ahead and do. So, we'll go ahead and fire, this is after the recycle, hit it. correct date on there, and we've got the expiration, which is now going to be in three days. Perfect. Well, now we know how to do it, so that's good. The only other thing I wanted to mention was if we, uh, if you have trouble with the uh, COM port and baud rate after checking your settings. You can also go to Options, Preferences, and then the COM port adjustment. I had to put it on five in order to make it work, but the um, book also says to use five or 10 if the uh, default settings don't work. 10 did not work for me, so I'm just gonna leave it at five, and we're good to go. Back in business.